More and more people travelled on the Fat Controllers Railway. Everyone had to work very hard indeed. The trucks complained bitterly, but then trucks always do, and no one takes much notice. Dirty trucks, dirty sidings, put in James. Ugh! Silence, ordered a well-known voice. Let me tell you that an engine for goods work will arrive from Scotland tomorrow. The news was received with acclamation. The fat controller stared. Did you say two engines, Inspector? Yes, sir, replied the Inspector. Then send the other back at once. Quite so, sir, but there is a difficulty. The two engines are exactly alike, sir, and have no numbers. They say they lost them on their way. The fat controller headed for the door. We'll soon settle that nonsense, he said grimly. The two engines greeted him cheerfully. I hear you've lost your numbers, he said. How did that happen? They mourn a slowly slip it off, sir. You can who it is. I'm not so sure, said the fat controller. What are your names? Donal and Doogie, sir. Good, he said. Then your controller can tell me which of you is which. You'll no get help from him, sir. He doesn't know our names. How could he? We only gin ourselves names when we lost our numbers. One of you, said the fat controller, is playing truant. I shall find him out and send him home. Inspector, he ordered, give these engines numbers and set them to work. He walked sternly away. Soon, workmen came to give the twins their numbers. Donald was nine and Douglas ten. Now nine and ten, said the inspector. Here's Duck. He'll show you around before you start work. The twins enjoyed themselves and were soon friends with Duck. They didn't mind what they did. They tackled goods trains and coaches easily. We like it fine here, said Donald. That's good, smiled Duck, but take my tip. Watch out for Gordon, Henry and James. They're sure to try some nonsense. Dinner fash yourself, chuckled Donald. We'll soon settle them. Donald and Douglas had deep toned whistles. They sound like buzzes said Gordon. Or oh, ships, sniggered Henry. Tugboat Annie, laughed Gordon. Donald and Douglas cruised up quietly. You wouldn't be making fun of us now, asked Donald. Gordon and Henry jumped. Uh, no, said Gordon. No, no, certainly not, said Henry. That's fine, said Douglas. Now just mind the berth here and keep it that way. That was the way Gordon and Henry kept it. Every day, punctually at 3.30, Gordon steams in with the express. There is also a special coach for people travelling to places on Thomas's branch line. Thomas is very proud of his special coach. One afternoon, Douglas helped duck in the yard, whilst Donald waited to take a goods train to the other end of the line. As Duck was busy with the trucks, Douglas offered to take away Gordon's coaches. He was enjoying himself when an awful thought struck him. I hope the fat controller doesn't find out I shouldn't be here. I couldn't abide going back. He worried so much over this that he forgot about Thomas's special coach. He pushed it with the others into the carriage siding. Soon, Thomas came fussing. Where's my coach? Coach? asked Donald. What coach? My special coach that Gordon brings for me. It's gone. I must find it. He bustled away. Losh's sake, said Douglas. I'm more than stored the special coach with the others. A mob of angry passengers erupted from the sidings. Now listen, said Douglas's driver. We'll change tenders, then away with you, Donald, and take yon goods. They quickly switched tenders. 
the fat controller was approaching, but Donald with Douglas's tender was out and away before he could come near. Douglas with Donald's tender waited with an innocent expression. Ah, said the fat controller, number nine, and why have you not taken the goods? My tender is away, sir. The driver showed him the tender, still not properly coupled. I see, some defect, no doubt. Tell me, why did number ten leave so quickly? Maybe, sir, he saw you coming, and he thought he was late. Hmm, said the fat controller. Then he turned to the passengers. Please accept my apologies. The matter of your missing coach will be investigated as soon as possible. Good day. The fat controller watched them until they'd entered the station building. His shoulders twitched and he wiped his eyes. Douglas wondered if he was crying. He wasn't. He swung around suddenly. Douglas, he rapped. Why are you masquerading with Donald's tender?